Hi there, this is Tony Granger. Um, I'd like to talk to you about the benefits of funeral plans today as well as uh, some future clips on the types of fu uh, funeral plans and then our Be Prepared service. I'm the author of 14 books in financial planning, including this is my most recent edition, uh, which is a bereavement guide, has over 100 pages and, and over 40 different categories of handy tips and events. We brought that out to support people uh, who, who are, are having to plan um, around funerals. Maybe not their own, but certainly other people's as well. Um, I've been involved in, in, in the financial services sector now for well over 35 years. And one of the areas which, which really concerns me is around what I call later life planning. And as a result of that, we put together an organization called Elysium. And Elysium really deals with things like funeral planning, how to prepare yourself for later life, the sorts of things that you have to do from a documentation point of view, such as getting your wills in order, having lasting powers of attorney, where are your house deeds kept, and so on. But right now, I think you might need to start thinking about what are the benefits of having a proper funeral plan which is designed for you. And um, this is, is, is an important part of anyone's funeral planning because what it does is it enables you to pay for the funeral and I'm really um, I'm going to bring up a, a, a number of, of agenda items here um, of which paying for the funeral is one how to contain the future costs um, of having a funeral the cost of a funeral now may be three or four thousand pounds in five years time could be five or six thousand pounds and that's really for a very basic funeral. Um, also how to provide cash exactly when, when it is needed, um, to provide you with certainty of knowing that you have a funeral plan in place, to also enable you to take responsibility for your own actions or maybe inactions um, so that you don't have to rely on other people um, in order to either arrange or pay for your fu funeral planning and most of all to be prepared. But the whole thing around uh, um, uh, funeral planning and the benefits of funeral planning is that it is a very important part of estate planning and by doing things in this area enables you to have peace of mind. I think peace of mind is what most people are looking for. Certainly the ones that I've been speaking to are saying, what can we do to ensure that arranging for the cost of a funeral do not fall on other people? What then are those costs? Um, well, the average cost here um, in 2018 for a cremation service, three to three and a half thousand pounds for a burial service, 4,257, but you can get cheaper ones. I, I think though that what most people don't know are what these costs are and how these costs are actually made up. So you need to ask yourself the question, are you aware of what funeral costs are and where is the money going to come from? Is it going to come from your bank account? In other words, do you have enough money in there to pay for it? What happens if your bank account is stopped or restricted because you've died? Where then is the money going to come from? Does your spouse or partner have enough money to pay for your funeral? Do you expect them to pay for your funeral? What about your friends and the rest of your family? 
Is it fair that if you have not made any provision that they end up having to take responsibility for it? So funerals range in price uh, really depending on what part of the country you're in. If you're in Beckenham, you could be paying over £7,000 for an average funeral. But if you're in Belfast, it could be a lot less. Um, an interesting area here is one of the important reasons why people have a funeral plan is that they're able to contain the future costs of such a plan. Funeral inflation runs at between 5 and maybe 10% a year. So where the average cost of a funeral today is £4,058, um, the average cost of a funeral in five years' time could be £4,500. No one knows. All we know is that those two simple things, the only certainties in life are death and taxes, we can now add another one, future costs, funeral costs are going to rise. So, lump sum plans that are taken out are able to cover your funeral costs in the future. This will guarantee a funeral director and certain of your funeral costs no matter when you die. So you're paying for it now, it might be in a lump sum or that lump sum is divided up into instalments or you might be taking out a guaranteed whole of life plan, but the only one which is going to guarantee you anything is the lump sum plan. So, if you take out a plan now, but you die in 15 years' time, the investment from that plan uh, has been gauged to cover your funeral costs at that time. So, um, note that not all of your funeral costs may be paid by the particular plan that you have. Things like flowers, the printing of the order of service, an extra, an extra limousine to take people to uh, the cemetery, for example, having a wake or providing refreshments afterwards are all uh, uh, things that may well be extras. But the basic funeral is going to be covered as well as the basic cremation. So, having a funeral plan provides cash at exactly the time when that actual cash is required. So, uh, you don't have to go looking for it. You also have the certainty of knowing that your funeral costs are going to be covered. And this is, is a way for you to take responsibility to provide for your own future uh, funeral expenses so that other people don't have to do that. You will have the peace of mind of knowing that your funeral costs have been covered and also um, you will be prepared and people that we have spoken to feel a huge sigh of relief knowing that they are making their own preparations for their later life planning. You can get a hold of us in a number of different ways, by telephone, by email, to myself, Tony at pgprotect.co.uk. You can visit our website, you can order our bereavement guide, and so on. Um, our next clip deals with the different types of funeral plans available, and I look forward to taking you through those uh, important aspects.